Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a project use it up update. And I'm going to be showing you the items that I have successfully used. Some items that I'm still working on. And some items that I actually added. So if you want to see all of that, just keep watching. I'm going to show you what I used up first. Because I like to start these videos off with the wins because we have to always keep the negativity to a minimum. <laughs> so, the first item that I was able to use up is my Lemon Drop Martini. I was so sick and tired of this scent. I feel like it took me eons to finish, but it was an okay scent. It really wasn't all that. I feel like when I first picked it up, it was just because it was on sale, <sighs> which, you know, I'm trying to get out of that. And this is like when I was really starting to get into semi-annual sale and things like that. I went ahead and picked this up. So I'm happy to be finished with it. I never really reached for it like that except for in this project use it up. So I am happy to see her go. Another one that took me eons to finish and I am very happy to be finished with this one. This is Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. So this perfume I had a love-hate relationship with because from one, I love the packaging. Like instantly when I saw this packaging, I just knew I had to get it. I like the dry down. The dry down smells absolutely delicious on me, but I cannot stand that initial pickle smell when I first sprayed this perfume. It just honestly was a reason why I never really picked this perfume up. I would use it sometimes and it was really pretty in pictures and I just never picked it up. I never reached for it. So I've had this since I believe December of either 2019 or 2020, which is far too long to be keeping something in my collection. So she had to go. I actually finished this up today. I would use this for any reason at all. I would spray my shoes. I would spray the car. I would spray blankets. I would spray myself if I'm just like in between scents or something like that. But she had to go. But I really think that I'm going to keep this little broken heart because I love this so much. Like definitely a 10 out of 10 on the packaging, but a 5 out of 10 on the way that I did not like that pickle smell when I first sprayed this on my body. Next, this is another long standing. I feel like this is like a theme in this video. This is another long standing scent that I finally finished. So this is my Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I honestly don't remember if this came from 2018 or 2019, but I just know I've had this for a while and this was something that I was really, really loving on when it came out, but I got absolutely Absolutely tired of it because this just smells like a perfumey pineapple scent to me and it just really wasn't doing what it needed to do for me any longer so she served her purpose I have used this as bathroom spray to try to get rid of it and then I really was tired of smelling it thin but I finally got through it and she is done Next, I finished up this Johnson's Creamy Baby Oil that I did pick up from Ross a while back. I feel like I've had this for probably a year. Then I started growing my collection and just started using a lot of other things. But this was a pretty nice formula. I do enjoy how it was a creamy oil to the point where it was creamy when you put it on like a lotion. But then it like really moisturized and made you shiny like an oil. This was actually pretty nice. But the fact that I did not use this as much as I thought I would. I did not reach for it a lot at all. I would not buy this one again. If you want to try it out, definitely give it a try because I do think it has a very nice formula to it. It's just not something that I reach for. So if my collection ever decides to condense down, then I may reconsider picking this back up. But for right now, I have so many different oils and lotions that I don't have the need for this in my collection right now. Next, I finished up my first bottle of Raspberry Jam Donut. I did pick this up I believe in December 2020. So Raspberry Jam Donut is a lot of people's favorite. This I would say is like third in line from this bake shop collection for me. Like Raspberry Jam Donut does smell pretty good. It's just I have a love-hate relationship with like yeasty type of scent notes especially from Bath and Body Works because they know they can bake some bread. So when it comes to Raspberry Jam Donut, it's very yeasty to me. So sometimes that takes away from Raspberry Jam Donut. Um, I do have another set of this. This is a very nice scent, but this is not something that I just run towards. So with this one, I'm happy that I still have another one to use in case that I just fall madly in love with it. So 
it's nice it, it's nice for what it was you can't even really tell what this is but this is island margarita which is tiki bay this was a part of one of their tropical collections i did cut it open to get every last drop out this was a very nice scent i did pick this up in december of 2020 at the semi-annual sale and i did not reach for it at all until this project used it up for this year i don't know why it was just not something that i was really interested in i'm assuming because i just have so much stuff and i have so much to use so that's something that i would not repurchase right now because it was a very nice scent but it wasn't something that I necessarily craved so that's that on that and then I finally finished up this Gucci Guilty I've been having since 2018 so I first picked this scent up I believe I first tried this scent in about 20 14 2015 when i was starting to try to branch out and get into perfumes because i would hear all the girls talking about this i didn't purchase a full bottle until 2018 and then i just kind of fell off the bandwagon with it because my scent tastes have changed and evolved over the times and this was just a little too powdery for me like this is a nice scent it's very bossy in that realm of scents it just makes you feel powerful but I did not reach for this at all for a very, very long time. I feel like this literally sat idle for probably a year without me even touching it. So for me to finally finish this up, I am very happy because this bottle was $60 and we're not letting money go down the drain at all. So I did finish that up. So those are all the wins from this project Use It Up. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's still in this bucket. And honestly, I feel like everything in here is moisturizer. I don't even have any body washes in here because I have been flying through my body washes here lately because it is hot outside and of course I'm in that shower a lot more. I'm using more products to try to make sure I smell good and especially after coming in from being outside I do not want to smell like the outdoors. So I am doing a very good job of using up my body washes but my lotions not so much. So first on the chopping block i actually added kaleidoscope to this project because this is something that i like but i just literally never use i don't know why so i did actually recently use it with a combo and i have a combo video coming up for you guys here soon i'm just trying to finish trying out the different scents to let you guys know you know the wins and the losses and everything like that but kaleidoscope is actually a polarizing scent some people really like it, some people don't. I have been told that this is a scent that's supposed to really mesh with your body chemistry and give all different vibes. So for me, when I put this on, it's like a powdery, clean, fresh type of floral scent. So I really actually enjoy it and I do regret not picking up the spray to this because I had the chance to pick up the spray multiple times and I just went ahead and passed up. I don't know why, but I do want to go ahead and use this cream up before she goes bad, but I don't see any problem with doing that. I still have in here my True Blue Spa Vanilla Almond Body Cream and she is about down to here. So I have been doing pretty well trying to use this up, but I've been really neglecting my Project Use It Up bucket because there has been so much coming out and just having all this fun using like all my fruity scents and things like that. So at night is when I mostly like to use like my gourmands right now, but this one is pretty nice they don't actually sell this anymore and i wish they would but this is like a very very moisturizing like oily type of body cream it's just a very nice consistency very thick so this is one that i still want to go ahead and get finished because like i told you guys i feel like this one will go bad quicker than anything so that's something that i really need to work on i forgot to put this in my little empties bag so this is my dove nourishing secrets restoring ritual body lotion in the scent coconut i actually finished this up today because i am wearing fresh coconut and cotton so this is one that i do really enjoy for the summer i feel like this is a nice summer formula i just never reach for this because i have so many other coconut scents so for right now i would not repurchase this because i have enough to get me by but this is a pretty nice summer lotion um i have my sleep black chamomile body oil and I have used this a couple of times, but definitely not like I should when I'm trying to finish something. So this is, I can't even tell where it's at right now, but I feel like it's about right here if I'm looking at it. But this is something that I really don't reach for too often. I do really enjoy the scent, but like I always tell you guys, I don't use my aromatherapy like I should. So that is why I quit purchasing the body creams, but I do like to have them around for when I want to have that little nice, 
feeling of feeling relaxed and just you know I might have a headache or something like that so I like to use that black chamomile after a long stressful day and I'm like using lavender and other calming scents I've been having this one for a while so this is hemp heaven and this is in the scent strawberry hibiscus and this was a TJ Maxx purchase so this is just like a nice strawberry scented lotion and I've been seeing this every now and then at the store it smells really nice to me actually so I do need to get some more usage out of this but once again, it's a case of having so many other things in my collection. I have this Jergens Skin Smoothie Lotion and this is the Pink Grapefruit and Pomelo. This is a new addition to my project Use It Up. I don't know if I actually, I actually don't remember if I showed you guys this in my last update or not. So excuse me if I did, but I have not used this one time since I've added this to this project. So it's time for me to get started on that. I also recently added this fresh coconut and colada body cream because I don't use this whatsoever. This is something that I picked up last year. I fell in love with this scent. I used it so, so much and then I just stopped. I really enjoy this because this has notes of coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. That vanilla rum in here really makes this unique to me and I really do enjoy it. So this is going to be a great base scent for a lot of different summer combinations that I have and I can definitely get some usage out of that. Hyatt Paradise Cove. This is something that I need to use. I picked this up last year from semi-annual sale and I, the reason I don't pick this up is because I would actually prefer to have this scent in the mist but I was just never able to find the mist again. I did have this whole set before. I used it up, loved it, found this body cream and it really made me want to use it again. So this has notes of fresh papaya, star fruit water, honeysuckle, passion flower, and amber. So this is a great summertime scent and I definitely need to find ways to put this to use because I have not touched that either. Next, I'm almost finished with this and this is my A Thousand Christmas Wishes. So I'm not sure if this is starting to turn or if I'm just not liking this scent in the cream on my skin anymore, but it's like the scent is just kind of off-putting to me on my skin. And this is the version from December 2020, so maybe that might be a reason why it's kind of smelling a little different to me once it's on. On the bottle, um, straight out the bottle, it doesn't smell bad. It still smells really good out of the bottle and I'm not really sure why it's doing like that with my chemistry but I'm thinking that's what's going on so I do want to hurry up and get this finished before it's just completely just bad. So this has notes of pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugar woods and I did actually wear this with my Ari perfume the other day which was a nice combo. I have this skin smoothie um, tropical fruit mix. So this is like the first skin smoothie Jergens lotion I ever picked up. I'm almost finished with this. I picked this up last year in 2021 in about like March. I'm like down the here with the lotion so I should be able to finish this up pretty soon. I added the coconut hibiscus from Bath and Body Works because this is also something I literally just don't reach for. So I have lots of coconut scents because I love coconut, but after a while, when you start to accumulate this many different things, the coconut really has to have something special in it to really stand out. And I feel like that's why some of these I haven't really been touching because they haven't been like really jumping out at me like they used to, so yeah. I put both of these lotions in this project. So this is the Coconut Waters and this is the Jasmine Peach. And these are both from EOS. And like I just said, this is just very standard coconut, even though I do love coconut scents. This one is a nice, pretty like peach apricot type of scent, but I just don't reach for these. So those will probably be in this project for a while. I'm not even gonna lie. Next, I have my coconut coffee. I feel like I've shown you guys this. I have only used it about once or twice since I put it in this project, but I really do wanna finish it up because I do not have like that much left in there. And then last but not least, I am like very down to the wire with this body cream and this is Sensual Amber. So here is what this one looks like. I love Sensual Amber. It's like a sexy powdery grown type of scent with like a hint of citrus in it. So it has golden amber, lotus petals, 
and creamy sandalwood so this is just a very sexy scent and i am very very low in this so i'm almost finished with this which i am happy about i'm not even like you know too pressed on finishing the mist i'm really trying to get these body creams rotated up out of the collection so we can get them through and done that's everything that i finished in this project use it up that's everything that i have added to this project use it up which i feel like i'm not going to add anything else right now because i don't like to push myself too hard when it comes to these projects because then it starts getting overwhelming then i start not enjoying the sense and i definitely don't want anything like that to happen so let me know in the comments, um, especially since semi annual sale has started, have you touched any of your products that you feel like you need to use up or have you been neglecting them a little bit, you know, like I have and putting them to the side? Let me know down in the comments. So if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notification bells so you'll never miss a video. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.